Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the PlayStation 4 system software from a USB stick. So let's go ahead and jump into this PlayStation tutorial right now. The first thing we're going to want to do is completely turn off our PlayStation 4. If you have access to your PlayStation 4 and it still starts up, go ahead and press the PlayStation button, scroll down to power, and then go to turn off. It cannot be in rest mode and do not go to restart, go to turn off. Otherwise, if your PlayStation 4 is not starting up and loading the system software, go ahead and unplug it from the wall and then replug it back in just to make sure your PlayStation 4 isn't in rest mode and no lights are visible on the PlayStation 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off right now. And we're doing this because we're gonna have to launch it into safe mode later in the video. Now you will need to connect a USB stick to your computer. It has to have at least 1.1 gigabytes free to install the PlayStation 4 system software. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my computer now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up a web browser and type in PS4 system software into the address bar and search on google.com. And the first link is typically the link that you will want. This one says PlayStation 4 system software, update your PlayStation 4. And let's go ahead and click this one. And this is on playstation.com. And we're gonna to wanna to scroll down the page a little bit more here. Now this one says update or reinstall PS4 system software using a USB stick. And the update PS4 system software using USB is highlighted. And this one is only 460 megabytes. We are actually gonna to wanna to go over to reinstall PS4 system software using USB and select this option. And you'll see it'll switch over to 1.1 gigabytes of free space. So we are now on the correct one. The reinstall PS4 system software is highlighted blue now. Let's go ahead and press the download PS4 system software button right here. And it's gonna start downloading in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And that's gonna take me a couple minutes here to finish downloading. So while that's downloading, let's go ahead and open up File Explorer and go to my USB stick I just plugged in. It will be my drive one, my H drive right here. And this is what I have on it right now. We are gonna wanna go ahead and format our USB stick by right clicking on the USB stick and then going up to format. And we will need to format it in FAT32. Once you have FAT32 selected, go down to start and this will completely remove any data you have on your USB stick. So just be warned, it'll pop up here before you go ahead and click okay. Let's do that now. And this will be a quick process and it's already done. Now let's go back to File Explorer, go to my H drive again, and there's nothing in here. We are gonna wanna go ahead and right click inside the USB stick, go down to new, go to folder, and then label this folder PS4, all capital letters. Then click into the PS4 folder, right click again, go down to new, go to folder, and go to update all capital letters once again and then we can click into here and when the download finishes we're going to go ahead and copy and paste it into this section right here under update and it looks like my update now is complete go ahead and click the up arrow if you're using google chrome go to show in folder go ahead and copy the update by right clicking on it and going to copy otherwise if this does not show up here go up to the three lines on the upper right hand side of the screen and then go down to downloads and you'll see your update on top of the page. Just go to show in folder and it'll get you to this page again. Now go back down to file explorer, pop that open, go to your H drive or your USB stick is probably going to be different than what I have. Then go to PS4, go to update, right click in update and then go down to paste and it's going to paste the PS4 update dot pup inside this folder and this should be about one gigabyte in terms of space so if you have something that's about 500 megabytes that's too small of a file that's actually for the update and not to reinstall the system software on the ps4 okay the file is now transferred over to my usb stick and i can see it inside the update folder now go back to your usb stick right click on it and then go to eject and it can now safely be removed from your PC. So go ahead and remove it. And now let's jump over to my PlayStation 4. Okay, here is my PlayStation 4. 
and I'm going to be using a USB hub with my PlayStation 4 just because sometimes with the USB sticks it's a little bit easier just to plug them in to a USB hub than plugging them directly into your PlayStation 4 because there is a kind of a groove right here that sometimes can prevent you from placing in a USB stick so just using that putting it off to the side so I have my USB plugged into my PlayStation 4 and there is no lights displaying right here meaning it's not in rest mode what we're going to want to do is press the power button and keep holding it for about 10 seconds and it's going to turn on and you'll hear another beep after about 10 seconds then you can go ahead and let go and this is going to launch your PlayStation 4 into safe mode so once we have everything set up our USB stick is plugged in our PlayStation 4 is in safe mode indicated by the pink light let's go ahead and jump over to my PS4 and look at the safe mode options so our PlayStation 4 now has rebooted into safe mode. You will need to connect a DualShock 4 controller using a USB cable and then press the PlayStation button on the controller and pop up this menu. Go all the way down to option number 7, initialize PS4, reinstall system software. Go ahead and select that. And then make sure you connect your USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 6.72 or later depending on when you're doing this it may be a later version and then go over to OK and press OK let me know if you have any questions about this process down in the comments section below and hopefully this PlayStation help video on how to reinstall your PlayStation 4 system software did indeed help you out if it did, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation help videos coming up next on your six studios.